Hey guys, I'm Fuel Tear. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is all about the mythical horses, or otherwise known as tier 10 horses. They are the advanced stages of the tier 9 or dream horses. Some of you may have gotten your first dream horse recently through the Vipico event uh, from the Heidel Ball. As you can see here, we have a mythical doom. That's my doom there with the blue flames. And then the traditional doom from the tier 9. That's the one with the um, sort of normal looking flames there. So uh, you can see the differences between the two appearances. I'll do this for every single mythical horse. And this is sort of a rolling intro. Obviously, we're already into the video. And I'm not always going to talk throughout the entire video. Parts of it are just let the horses do the talking. But I will give a little bit of commentary here, especially in the intro when we're looking at the horses. But uh, yeah, I really love the tier 10 Doom appearance. Um, next up, we can see the unicorns. Sorry for the janky camera. There's no way to keep it smooth and move it at the same time. So as you can see, the golden main one, that is the... The Unicorn Tier 9, uh, or Dine, obviously, is the official name of the unicorns in Black Desert. And the Tier 10 Dine, or Mythical Dine, is the one with the water. I do prefer the Tier 9 appearance. It is my favorite Tier 9, except for one special one. Um, but of the traditional Tier 9s, that's my favorite appearance. But, you know, uh, I wouldn't mind another appearance for the, the Tier 10 Unicorn. But it does look really cool when it's doing its thing. So we'll see that later, obviously. I'm gonna show you every single horse and all its abilities and what they do, so you can have a look at them. And it would be especially fun for those of you that have not seen them in action. So here we have a normal Pegasus there. The white one is the tier nine. And then the one is my tier 10, is the one with the golden tattoos. It has a sort of charcoal body with a deep red mane. Um, I wasn't in love with it when it was first released, but since then, I have grown to like it. So, there are actually four Pegasus in the game, uh, appearance-wise. So, we have two Tier 9s here and two Tier 10s. The Tier 10s are on either side. The one we're looking at here is the winter version of the Tier 10 skin that you can choose. You do have, get two skins. I don't like it because it looks a little bit too much like the Tier 10... Or, sorry, excuse me, the Tier 9 uh, Dream Horse version of the Pegasus. However, as you can see and spot... There is another appearance, and that is the Nightmare Pegasus skin. Only two of these exist per server. Some may be less if one of those players is quit or banned or something. Um, on EU, there's two. The one that you're seeing in front of me is uh, a friend of mine owns that horse, and she was very kind to log in so I could show it off. So pretty cool. Now we're going to look at the Tier 10 Doom abilities here. And the Tier 10 Doom has a number of new abilities over the Tier 9. Um, the tier 9 has a third instant acceleration, two seater, and an attack. As you can see here, we have the ability to have a six seater horse. Yeah, that's right, six seater. So six people for one horse. So uh, my horse can have two people. These spared clone horses can also have two people. So some one of your allies uh, can ride on this horse. Someone else can jump on the back of this horse. And the away they go. It does have all the instant accelerations that the tier 10 has although it doesn't break as well so it's not as fast but it's still pretty fast and it's really cool if your allies need help this skill also gives five percent movement speed and if you use it on cooldown gives five percent movement speed and doesn't have a cooldown on the movement speed buff it does have a cooldown on the clones the clones last for 10 minutes and the cooldown to use it again is 20 minutes so once the clones are out you have another 10 minutes before you can summon new ones they do look a little bit different that's what the skill looks like for the movement but they do look a little bit different from the normal uh, horse, of course, but there you go. So I'm going to show you some mobility on the horse, and you can see the quadruple instant acceleration. I decided to harass some centaurs, kind of fitting because they're horse people. Um, as you can see, running through with the fourth instant acceleration also does damage, just like the third instant acceleration. This is the ranged attack that the Doom gains over the tier 9. That's the normal attack, same as the tier 9. Um, but you have a ability to do a ranged damage. And as you can see, it does kill the centaurs. Looks super cool, I think. So there you go. I just wanted to show that off because I thought you guys might be interested. That's the normal tier 9 attack. You can still do that, of course. 
Uh, I'm eager to try this against bases and structures and node wars, but I'm going away next week, so I won't be able to do that. But if you're interested, if I can find, uh, if I can use this horse in node wars next week, I will uh, maybe at the end of the week I will try to do so. But yeah, this is uh, slow mo, by the way. It looks like you're going into a warp overdrive when you're using that. So I thought you might be interested in some slow mo shots. So I threw that in there too. It's, uh, because the Doom Horse has such high levels of turn and break, you're able to navigate sort of sharper turns with this horse than the other two while still going incredibly fast with the fourth instant acceleration, which, if you already probably noticed, lasts a very, very long time. Uh, and I'll show you a little bit more slow mo here. This is what the fourth instant acceleration looks like. So that's double what Pegasus and Dine have. Or that I should say Pegasus' real name in the game is Ardo or not. I don't know how to say it. Uh, but it's a Pegasus. So most people call it Pegasus. And here's another slow. Oh, this is the slow of the ranged attack. So you can see what that looks like too. And just to throw in the end, you can see me using it against Siluvial here. So it does actually stun him. Just like the tier 9 one. So I guess you could stun lock. Next up we have the tier 10 unicorn. So I got this after the Doom Horse because Doom Horse was priority. It has triple jump and the ability to slow fall. So you can jump off a massive mountain as long as you activate the slow fall just before you hit the ground. You're fine. They buffed the movement speed on the water. So it's now way faster on water than it is on land. I wish that was more useful, but it's still pretty cool. Uh, as a role-playing feature, I guess it's very, very awesome. Uh, as a practical feature, maybe not. I hope they improve its buff, but it does look awesome. Um, I don't know why the water walking isn't simply infinite. If you are in the water you're, and you get off your unicorn, it'll just have like a watery outline and you can, um, you can just basically climb back off onto the horse from the water. Just be careful not to run out of your water stamina. I don't, like I was saying, I don't know why they chose to limit it. Like, I can't think of a way you can make this broken. You can't go into the great ocean, and even if you could, I'm not even sure what you would do with that. I just think it would be fun if you wanted to. Why, why not allow it? Like, basically, no other horse can run in the desert either. They don't limit that. I mean, I guess you could technically say they can walk in the desert, whereas no other horse can walk in the water, but it is what it is. I hope they uh, unlimit it, because I think that it would be good for the unicorn. Uh, this is, of course, showing the Unicorn buff. It still has the buff. It's the exact same as the Tier 9, however, which I think is a shame. I think it should be better than the Tier 9, but um, there it is. So, yeah, it's a very, very big PvP buff, and I hope with the Crocodile stall, I'll be able to simply bring this horse out whenever I need that buff. Um, this is just showing with the UI on, so you can see the water walking stamina and how quickly it is consumed. It is much better than it was before the buff, but as you can see, it still does chunk through it. You could not do a straight run to like Paddock's Island or something. You just have to island hop. It doesn't take long to regenerate stamina though. Next up, we have the Pegasus. It's my oldest horse. I had this for a long time now. Um, and I wanted to show you the new boosted flight, which is absolutely insane on this horse. You can jump loads of places. So this is from Medea Castle. And I thought, you know what? Let's see if we can reach Valencia. So here we go. I had to let the flight get me as far as possible before hitting the water. And there we go. Just about making it there. Maybe you can make that jump more efficient. But uh, yeah, that's pretty far. You'd never make that with the old jump. Oh, well, you could see. Obviously, I would have gone into the water. So you can use it to climb as well. If you can latch on to things, you can jump immediately. There's no cooldown on this jump. So the new ability, the Q ability that allows you to jump like this. There's no cooldown on that. So um, if it does get used in the air, you fall uh, very slowly. So you want to try and land quickly when you're going to have the Q ability run out because otherwise it's going to do that and you don't want to be far from the ground when doing that really. So use it tactically. But you can use it to climb ridiculous things. A Pegasus is always possible to get up to castles, but now it's uh, just infinitesimally better at doing it. and. Um, less error and it can get higher and higher and higher and get 
Yeah, so uh, this is going to be definitely interesting for Siege meta. I think it's good because a equally strong guild sieging a castle, it's incredibly difficult to do that. So if the Pegasus in some way helps unlock uh, siege attacking, I think that's a good thing. Um, the problem with siege is always that like 1v1, it's very difficult for the attacker to do that, and it's a shame. But uh, 2v1, the castle owner has a hard time because of the amount of cannons. So definitely going to be interesting. But I figured I also try to get back to Medaya Castle from a decently high point. So this is showing me basically doing that. So I think I make it to the right. So there you go. You think, oh no, I'm going to go in the water. Nope, not today. So yeah, um, I'm hoping that I can use the treasure item when it's added to summon all three horses, whichever I want, in the middle of a siege. That would be cool. Uh, but the ability to turn that Q flight is absolutely massive. So back to where we started. It also doesn't use stamina as much as the Doom. The Doom uses so much stamina to use its fourth instant acceleration. The Pegasus uses almost none. Um, that's just me adjusting the uh, daylight. So I figured in this case, I would just show you the actual general mobility. So as, instead of like flying up to high places, how does it look when you're running? So this is this little clip there shows exactly that. So perhaps later I'll do a real speed test, especially between the Pegasus and the Doom to see which one can get from Grana to Valencia the fastest. Or maybe I'll just do Sangrain Bazaar if I'm not going to include the Unicorn. I just don't see how the Unicorn could win that. I mean, I know it gets to skip the desert, but I'm still not sure how it would win that. Um, but maybe I'll do that. This extra flight buff for the Pegasus just in a straight line is obviously speeds the horse up. Um, you have to be careful, but having a slightly increased slope or maybe at least uh, level ground makes it very, very effective and very, very fast. Um, you just don't want to be too high up. So going downhill is not actually always faster to do that because you have the falling animation. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it was fun for you to watch. Which tier 10 Pegasus or tier 10, which tier 10 Pegasus? Yeah, which tier 10 Pegasus you like actually. I like this skin more because I think it's more unique looking than the other one. The other one, it's cool, but it looks too close to tier 9 for my taste. And also, it blinds you when you fly. Try it if you have it. Um, but yeah, which mythical horse do you guys prefer the most? Which one are you going for? Let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want any more mythical horse-related content, just let me know and I can see what I can work out. Like I say, I'm going away next week. And I have a lot of videos, including a lot of ranger videos to make. But I will see what I can do. So thanks, guys. See you next time.